Well, I've been doing a ton of work in the back of this Nova, and now it's time to finally move forward. So in this video, we're gonna check out some A-pillar and roof bars, along with a dash bar to tie it all together. Welcome to the Kiefer's Hot Rod Shop YouTube channel. I'm Nick Kiefer. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna start getting the cage portion of this chassis in here. This car is actually getting a cowl box uh, made of two uprights and the dash bar. And then the A pillar and roof bar will sit down on that. So let's go ahead and check out the process. All right, cool. So you just saw me make uh, one of the uprights for the uh, kind of cowl box I'm making. It's gonna be the uh, two uprights from the floor to the dash bar. And um, man, the dash bar will kind of make that box. Um, so these are both notched at a um, two and a half degree angle to establish their lean on those front cross member 6A and 6B bars. So. Um, just got to make one more of these and then I'll uh, fit them up in the car with a straight piece for the dash bar and we'll check that out momentarily. I went ahead and made up a pair of these. Um, I've got both sides all notched and ready to go other than I still need to put a little notch here for the rocker bar um, on both sides. So this is going to fit over that meeting point of the rocker bar and those front cross members. So I need to go ahead and notch these out for that. Um, what I actually did is I figured out what angle they're going to lean back at. Like sitting on the rocker bar, they're actually going to lean back in the car a little bit. And what I did is I just calculated a right triangle from this line to how high I need to notch that. And I came up with something like, um, I think it's a touch over an eighth of an inch. I've taped from kind of the trough of the notch to the trough of the notch on both of these. And I'm going to go ahead and mark a line, which will give me kind of the datum of the tube that they sit on. And then I'm going to move up for that lean back and go ahead and notch that the, uh, the appropriate amount. All right, cool. So I, I've made my marks and you can, maybe see them uh, from that angle. Um, I made the straight mark across the plane of the tube, um, kind of normal with the tube here or perpendicular. And then I made my second mark an eighth inch up. And so I've set the depth of cut up to the uh, hole saw on that eighth inch up mark. And I've also set the angle of the notch are up at eight degrees, which is what the lean back on this tube will be. Um, it's not horribly crucial, but it should just result in a little bit better fit up with that uh, going at an angle. Another good thing to check just while you're doing all this is to look directly down and make sure that the edge of the hole saw lines up with the trough of that notch in a situation like this. Um, so everything's looking good, um, and I'm going to actually go ahead and just uh, put some cutting oil on this thing and um, go ahead and notch it. All 
Alright, cool. So I'm going to clean this up with the die grinder and we'll uh, check out how it fits in the car. Alright, cool. And here's where uh, this tube is actually going to live. Alright, nice. And it looks like it fits in there pretty sweet. Um, it's sitting back on the notch there and um, it's looking like that's going to work. Obviously I'm going to have to make sure everything fits together at the right angles and all, but it's uh, sitting down nicely on that joint. Yeah, cool. Alright, so I went ahead and actually tacked the uh, two A-pillar uprights onto the dash bar and I've got it fitted in the car. Um, I had to pull the firewall out so it's just screwed in right now. Um, I'm not going to weld it in until um, all of the chassis is totally welded into the car after I take it out and weld it all together um, just because I need access uh, to the front of where it welds to the uh, rocker plates there but it's uh it's looking good it's super tight in there um, but i've got it fit above the pedal box and behind those braces this is looking pretty good and um, next is going to be bending up those uh, roof and a pillar bars notching them to fit on the main hoop and um, and landing them on that dash bar. Cool, so I went ahead and pulled the firewall out as you just saw and um, this gives me good access to this cowl uh, box here with these A-pillar bars and the dash bar. I've got a little more fitting up to do um, on these two bars. This one's really, really nice and then this one actually fits pretty well and this is in proper position but I want to clearance it just a little bit more to get that gap just right um, but the main thing I'm doing is I'm going to weld all of the gaps under this tube um, up so that I, I don't have something unwelded trapped under this tube and that tube when it welds in and so that way I can do the final fit up and um, go ahead and start on the A-pillar bars
All right, cool. So I uh, welded these joints where those um, A-pillar bars are going to sit and I uh, went ahead and drilled expansion holes um, for the gases inside the tubing. Um, when, when I weld those uh, uprights on, the A-pillar bars. So it's all looking good, and now I'm just gonna get that, uh, that piece all fitted back in here. All right, and as you can see, this easily installs right in the car. I'll make sure everything's nice and clean, and I'll stick the firewall back on, then we'll see you uh, when it's time to bend tubes. All right, I've got the firewall all buttoned back up, and the dash bar is in the car. Um, I'm not welding it yet, just in case I need to tilt it a little bit, but the, uh, the notches are down, fitting pretty nicely. Um, and I've got this piece of tape just holding it in place for right now. And uh, what I'm getting ready to do next is shape the roof and A-pillar bars, and I'm gonna have to poke holes in the dash. I've been kind of staring down this A-pillar. You can just barely see the dash bar kind of through these holes. Um, you probably can't on the camera, but it's just a little in front of those holes. And so when I line this up against those holes, this A pillar, you can kind of see how I estimated the front of that notch. So what I'll probably do is start a little shy, like it's marked out right now, and then just sneak up on it. I still want to take a bunch of measurements, do some math, figure out the, uh, the actual bend, um, well, bends that I need to do. So it's going to, it's going to lean back at 45 degrees. So these are actually right on 45 degrees, interestingly. Um, this I'm going to set level um, just because it makes sense and then it's going to lean like 18 or 20 degrees like this so it's going to come from here and then it's actually going to bend right there so that it is no wider than the width between the rocker plates that i've made in this car um, so that it can all go back down through the floor for final welding. This line here and this line here is, um, they're 52 and a half inches apart, which is the width of that gap uh, between the rockers. And um, so that's kind of where I'm gonna aim these tubes. That's also the width of that dash bar. Um, so I'm kind of building to the maximum width there just for uh, visibility reasons. Um, kind of going back and forth on if I like the bar a little far away, just so you can see through there, like if the Christmas tree appears between the bar and the A-pillar, uh, you kind of hate to have an A-pillar that's like this wide, you know, including that bar, and you can't see through. Sometimes it's nice to have that, but I think I want to go ahead and just make it as tight as I can. Um, I think that's going to work well. Also, considering that the seating position in this car is pretty much factory, um, you won't be sitting way far back in the car uh, because we're using the factory uh, pedal box. So that dictates a lot in this car. But that's going to be next. I'm going to make some more measurements, do some more math. I might show you a little bit of that. And um, then I'll uh, bend up a tube, cut this out, and we'll, uh, we'll fit that up and check it out. All right, so I've done all the math and figured out um, exactly how I need to build the roof and A-pillar bars. 
there's kind of a drawing here. Um, I'm going to be making the main curve at the top of the windshield basically um, and it's going to be a little over 45 degrees and then there's going to be a second curve um, which you can kind of see here um, and as it goes down the plane of the windshield it's going to be angled with the A pillar of the body and then it's going to go straight down um, kind of under the dash to that dash bar. Uh, another thing is if, if any of y'all are interested in um, how I do some of this math, uh, just put it down in the comments and I'll, uh, I'll make a video about that um, if you want me to go over kind of some of the basics on figuring out how I do that. But I've got these all figured out, so I'm going to go ahead and uh, cut a couple pieces of tubing and start bending them and uh, notching them and we'll see how they fit. All right, cool. So what I was just doing is if you look down this A-pillar bar, you might notice that the very end is uh, perpendicular to the main roof part. Um, so I'll show you that in a bit, kind of how it fits in the car. But um, I'm going to go ahead, make sure I um, got this angle right. I'm going to measure it on the floor and then uh, we'll notch it next.
right, so this thing's all been up and notched. Um, you could probably see the techniques I use uh, to line up all the notches. Um, for instance, I knew this one had to be perpendicular to this plane and also perpendicular to this kind of this plane, but, but this, this uh, line more so. So it needs to be perpendicular, but out of plane. Um, and um, this is going to sit 45 degrees and this is going to sit 18 degrees so that difference of 27 degrees is what i had to cut this one to um, but regardless um, i'm going to go ahead uh, poke a hole in the dash and we'll see if this will kind of sit down in the uh, in the parts of the cage that are already in the car well it's time to poke a hole in the dash um, this would be a real daunting task if this dash was in better shape. Um, it would be usable um, if, if that's what we needed to do, but I've got a new one sitting over there and this one's pretty beat. Um, the reason I want to go ahead and, and put the tubing through this is just so that I know where to cut the new dash when it's time to install that. Um, I've done some measuring and I've got a nice starting point um, that I want to uh, go ahead and drill right now. Um, I'm actually going to go ahead and uh, drill a hole with the hole saw after I drill this pilot hole um, for the hole saw arbor. But um, after that I'm going to slit back so that I can just push the tube right straight up um, into that slot. And now I'm going to go ahead and, and drill a one and three quarter inch hole. Um, obviously that's bigger than the one and five eighths tubing. Um, I do have a one and five eighths hole saw, but I just want to have a little bit of wiggle room without having to go in and, and do a lot of grinding. So I'm going to go ahead and poke this next. Cool. Um, that gave me a little bit of a hard time towards the end there, but normal for cutting through sheet metal the hole saw. Um, next, I'm going to go ahead, get the cutoff wheel, and make the uh, make that hole into a slot. Now I'll just clean this up with the uh, roll lock pad on a die grinder as well as the uh, drum sanders and um, we'll go ahead and sneak that A-pillar in there. Definitely want to keep sparks away from the glass. All right, excellent. Let's go ahead and try to sneak this roof and A-pillar bar in. It'll be tricky. Cool. 
it looks like it's just going to need a little more room up here. All right, so obviously this needs to be trimmed a lot more, um, but I pretty much mostly got it fit on the main hoop where it needs to go. Um, I tried to leave it just a little long, just so that um, I had some extra metal to fit. So that's gonna be good. Um, I'm gonna clearance this a bit more and stick it back in here and we'll check that out in a sec. All right. Um, so I've expanded this uh, a bit forward um, and actually kind of moved it over that way just a little. Uh, you can kind of tell, but um, regardless, um, this, this tube's given me a lot of uh, insight here um, into how this is going to fit together. So this is really the reason I didn't make both tubes to completion at the same time because there's always going to be something that needs to be changed and uh what i've realized is i bent this tube to the angle it needs to be leaning looking straight on and not at 45 degrees um the windshield a pillar lean back actually happens to be like exactly 45 degrees so i'm not just generalizing using that figure but Otherwise, just looking in here, you know, I can see how it fits up in the cowl here and all that. Uh, goes right up through the notch and um, fits up in here. And I've kind of studied how the notch fits on the uh, main hoop here and all that stuff. So um, pretty good uh, in general. Uh, pretty straight and all that, but um, I just think it's leaned in too much. I wanted these to be parallel and you can see it's just leaned in a bit. But another really important thing that I've been able to do um, is actually make sure that it clears um, the windshield. This also is partially dictated by the proximity of the um, these two studs that support the dash and the brake pedal box. Um, I could bring that back almost a half inch uh, just looking at the um, that right side's a little closer just because this is kind of leaned in a bit. Um, but it's got a little room to go back and I want to fine tune that by grinding these. Um, and I can also, I can also shorten that notch just a little bit and that'll gain me some clearance up here if I need it. So I built in a little bit of tunability, um, but that's kind of where I'm at. So I'm going to go ahead and rebend one of these. I'm going to calculate out the correct angle for this. Um, it's going to be a little less, so I bent it at 18, but again, that's what the, the lean in of the A-pillars is, is viewed like from the front or back of the car. Um, so at 45 degrees on that plane, it'll actually be a little more shallow, between 10 and 15 degrees roughly. So I'm going to figure that out, and then um, 
I'll uh, bend up another one of these and, and check out how that fits. So you could see the, uh, the difference between the first try and this new one. Um, I uh, bent it, it's actually turned out to be 13 degrees in this plane versus 18, which it actually is in the on looking plane. So I'm gonna set up to notch this next. Alright, sweet. Well, that fits a lot better. Alright, that's nice. I like that. That angle's like perfect. Um, you can see it's pushing this dash up quite a bit. Um, I think what I really want to do um, is I'm going to take a little bit of length off of this part. Um, and that's actually that's also going to bring that dash bar back just a little bit um, And it's also going to let the front of the tube down. It's a uh, it's hard up against the ceiling there, so um, I'm gonna take off maybe like an eighth inch or something like that there, but I've got the uh, back lined up right where it needs to be um, And this is looking really sweet 
I'm really, uh, really happy with this. But yeah, I definitely want to take a little bit off of the end. Um, that's going to uh, let this down and let that dash bar back. But otherwise, I think this is perfect. Um, and one precaution I'm going to want to take when I build its mirror counterpart for the other side is um, I'm going to want to start with that dimension a little long. So the deal with this notch is really it doesn't adjust anything but but length um, more than anything. So if I start with that long a little bit, I can go out and meet that dash bar on the other side. And if it's a little tight, I can take some out of that and it won't change the angles and everything. Uh, just because this, this part of the tube is uh, pretty much perfectly horizontal. But looks good. It's actually pretty hidden, uh, you know, looking at the car, um, you know, from kind of the side here. But um, I'm happy with this. Just a little bit more uh, tweaking and it should be, uh, should be really good. I like how that looks. Well, y'all know what time it is. I got to go ahead and uh, poke a hole in the dash. And since the passenger side here doesn't have the opening for the gauge cluster, um, what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to make a slot so that I can position the tube up where it needs to go. Um, if this was the, the dash structure that's staying in the car um, permanently, um, this would actually be covered up by the dash pad, which comes across right at the front of these um, holes and features here. Um, 
but since it's not, I don't have to be too careful about any of this. Um, I just want to get it close. I have something to uh, measure later. But I'm going to drill the pilot hole first and then go ahead and hook the hole saw up and uh, make some space for the tube. Let's see if this bar will fit in. It might be a little tricky with just having a slot to put it in through here, but it should work. Yeah, perfect. All right. All right, sweet. It's um, it's a little long, it uh, feels like, but I actually made it just a touch longer than it needed to be, um, just so that I'd have a little bit of extra material to fit it. Um, but if we uh, take a step back and look at both bars, even, uh, even at this point, it's pretty symmetrical. Um, it looks like, um, yeah, if it's just the same up here, it's real tight. So that's good. They fit the same, looking good. And um, all I need to do at this point is just trim them to fit. And um, I think uh, I'm just going to kind of do the same thing to both of them as I go here. And then they should end up uh, as a perfect mirror pair. Cool. All right, cool. So I've been working with these a little bit, just getting them fit in. Um, you can see they uh, line up nicely with those rear down bars. Um, still working on it just a tiny little bit, just how it fits to the main hoop there. But I think I've got these pretty much where I want them. Uh, this one's a little loose, so. It's uh, just got to make sure it's leaned over here. It looks nice and parallel, as well as this one. Uh, I made sure the uh, windshield glass will clear and all that. It's really close, but when I put a straight edge through here, there's, I don't know, a little over an eighth inch, maybe three sixteenths. Um, you can see, got them pretty nice and symmetrical. And... Um, 
just a little bit of final fitting to do but these things are looking sweet I ended up trimming uh, an eighth inch off the bottom of either side uh, just to kind of get a little bit of clearance to the header panel of the roof um, it fits really tightly up against that and I also took out um, about three sixteenths of an inch of length on either end um, which kind of moved the bars mainly back but due to the arcing of the cowl box it also let the front down just a little bit um, I left a little extra on when I notched them the first time and I'm glad I did because it's allowed me to uh, fit these really really nicely here well these a pillar and roof bars are really starting to fit great i've got just a couple little more finishing touches to put on them um, i want to get them fitted just perfect with clearance to the roof structure and all of that um, so i'm going to trim a little bit fit them up a little bit nicer and then i've got a finishing touch that y'all are going to want to check out Well, these things are looking even better. Um, got them notched really nicely to the main hoop, and they're sitting down on the dash bar nicely, too. Um, I like how they fit. I just want to uh, go ahead and bring the fronts down at this point so that they're not hard up against the uh, header panel, the roof structure in the car. Um, I was planning to trim the ends of these uh, at the front here, but um, after measuring the parts of the A-pillar bars that hold up the dash bar. Um, I want to go ahead and shorten that structure a little bit. And what that's going to allow me to do is while I have it pulled out to, to shorten it just about a sixteenth of an inch, um, I'll also be able to dr drill the um, gas expansion holes into that dash bar where these sit. Um, I wouldn't quite be able to get a drill in there as this is right now. So I'm going to go ahead and, and do that, and we'll um, check that all out here in a sec, and then I'll get tacking these in, and then we'll put that nice finishing touch in here that you're going to want to check out. All right, cool. So I've got this pulled out one more time. Um, I'm going to go ahead and notch it just a little bit. I've also marked exactly how the rocker bars fit to this tube um, on either side uh, using a Sharpie earlier. So that's gonna allow me to cope that in just perfectly. Um, but I'll do that. Uh, also, I've kind of marked where the A-pillar bars land 
So I'm going to be able to poke um, gas expansion holes in, in those spots. And then um, I'll clean it all back up, fit it back in the car, and then uh, stick everything back together. Cool, let's set everything up back in the car. All right, awesome. So I've got the A-pillar and roof tubes all fit up really nicely in the car. They fit really tight to the uh, contours of the body. And looking inside the car, the notches turned out like perfect. I got them to fit really nicely, um, both at the main hoop and in the front here. There's a little bit of Sharpie on there that makes it look like there's a space, but it's, um, it's just that ink. But these things are looking great. All right, so now that I've got these fit up nicely in the car, I'm gonna go ahead and clean them all up and get them ready to tack in. All right, cool, got everything cleaned up and ready to tack together. You can see, got everything nice and polished up. And I also drilled gas expansion holes in the main hoop. I already had some down here at the front, but everything's all cleaned up and uh, ready to tack in. And now that those bars are in there, it's time to make the finishing touch. So I got this nice windshield bar, number 13, and the SFI manual, all notched and bent up. And it goes right in like so, and looks great. All right, and I've got this strap holding these bars together tightly. Um, check this out. I got this number 13 windshield bar, and all fit in nicely. You can see how I curved it to, uh, match the contour of the roof and it doesn't only curve forward it also curves up just a bit um, again just kind of to match the car nice and tight and um, I also made sure I cleared all the hardware for the rear view mirror that's something that the owner of the car really wanted um, is to use that factory um, mirror but everything's in here fit nice and tight and here's a view from the front just to kind of show you how it follows the contour of the roof. Um, I ended up making a couple of, uh, it's pretty much a 10 degree bend on either side. And then what I did is I angled the entire thing up 22 and a half degrees. It made it where it goes further forward than up, you know, just to maintain ceiling clearance and all that. But turned out pretty nice. 
looks like it fits really sweet and again the uh, mirror works with it well if I put the camera kind of in the seating position here if you look out that rear view mirror you can see the uh, X it's between the rear down bars real well so um, you can see right out the back window no issues there and again you can get to that hardware again all this stuff's all cleaned up and ready to tack up so uh, it's looking good and now it's just time to lay some tacks on this thing and make sure everything's nice and uh, tied together cool everything's all tacked in um, those pieces of chipboard I had I, that I pulled out at the end I just had slid in here to make sure I had clearance um, and actually equal clearance on either side to the uh, roof structure um, if I determine I want a little more clearance later I can probably just mount the body just a touch higher on this chassis it needs to come out and be put back in anyway but that'll be part of the final fit up process um, where I fine tune everything after I weld the entire chassis together and put it back in the car. But um, I got some, uh, I got plenty of tacks on everything. I kind of finished up with the rear tacks down in this area, uh, started with the side tacks and then just kind of worked around. Um, I kind of tried to go through this methodically, switching side to side and um, just get everything nice and um, nice and evenly tacked. Got, you know, three tacks on the main hoop up there. So everything should be nice and tied in. Um, this was really difficult uh, to get to, but I was able to get a couple tacks in there. And then the other side is pretty easy because it's got the big access for the uh, gauge cluster and all that. And again, a couple tacks down there, but it's uh, looking good and it's really awesome to uh, have all this stuff in the car. Um, super excited about that. Another thing you probably noticed was uh, me checking this angle um, with this angle finder. All I wanted to do is just make sure that this is the same on either side. Just to make sure that it's nice and symmetrical and everything fits equally side to side. Um, you also saw me measuring this gap constantly 
and that was just another way for me to make sure everything was going in nice and symmetrically and if I needed to pull it one way or the other I could do so um, by placing welds on it while I was just in the tacking process um, to kind of pull pull the metal towards the tack but for the most part it stayed nice and symmetrical and um, it all looks really good I'm excited well, I really hope y'all enjoyed taking a look at the build and installation process of these roof and A-pillar bars. I think they turned out really nice, and there's plenty more stuff to go. I'll be doing door bars and all sorts of bracing and gussets and stuff soon. So I hope y'all will tune in and check that out next time. Until then, I really appreciate you liking, watching, and subscribing to my videos. And y'all take care, and we'll see you then. Have a nice one.